Hey guys, welcome back. And for today's video, we're going to discuss on how to activate the copy and paste in QEMU. So let's get started. To begin with, by default, the copy and paste is disabled in QEMU. And for this to take effect, we need to install the application required for this to work. So let's start. Similar to any virtual machine, we're going to install Spice as the counterpart of the guest additions if you are working with VirtualBox. Since we're working with Linux distro, this is the best choice to connect with QEMU. So let's start. Like any Linux distro, the first thing we need to do is to update our system. And to do that, let's head over to the activities and from here, search for terminal. Then from here, let us update our operating system. To do that, let's type sudo apt-get update. Next, we need to install now our SPICE. And to do that, let's step over to our terminal and type the following. Come here, include the hyphen Y, install SPICE hyphen BD agent. All right. And hit enter. Once done, let us turn off or power off our guest operating system. Before we start our application, let us discuss first the additional code line. From this section, the first line here is your basic command line in QEMU. Now, for the clipboard to take effect or the copy paste, we need to include these three additional lines in our code. So let's start. From our code line, we need to insert the three additional lines from our discussion. So let's start. Once done, hit enter. All right, at this point here, our application is ready. For the test, let's try opening the website from this application. From here, head over to Activities, click Parpox. Then, I'm going to copy the URL from our host.
And there you go. That's it, guys. From this point here, you can copy also the reversible or the bidirectional similar to any virtual machine. Right? Hope you enjoyed the video and click the like button and subscribe for any videos just like this. Cheers!